Hi everybody, hope you're keeping well and welcome once again to Get Indie Gaming and to this video where we peer into the top 5 best looking indie games hitting the market this March. Before we do, let's take a quick peek into the few offerings out this month that deserve a quick honourable mention. Old Time Hockey with its M rating, 70s stylings, handlebar moustaches looks like a hockey game very much at odds with the typical NHL offerings. Out March 8th, in Space Jammers we have a 1-4 to four player sci-fi roguish top-down shooter where you play as an alien rock band of kitten pirates. The levels, weapons, bosses and all in-game characters are all procedurally generated. Should be fun. A launch title for the Nintendo Switch, Snip Eclipse is a co-op puzzle game for up to four where players are able to cut the in-game paper characters into new shapes to solve dynamic puzzles. This looks and feels a perfect showcase for the Switch with its bright colours and easy to grasp gameplay. Already out for a while on the PC, this gorgeously looking hand-drawn 2D point-and-click adventurer, The Inner World, is headed to the Xbox in late March. Now this game is well worth picking up and comes with a genuinely funny dialogue and enough tricky puzzles to keep you busy along the way. And so with Strafe, we have the last of the honourable mentions for March. Now obviously this looks straight out of the late 90s and clearly follows a path laid down by the likes of Doom and Quake. While not exactly the future of the indie gaming scene, it does look to be lots of fun and is coming to the PC and PlayStation 4 towards the end of the month. With those honourable mentions taken care of, let's jump straight into the top 5 best looking indie games launching in March 2017. Starting us off this month in the number 5 position, we have Future Unfolding. The game is an action adventurer which is all about exploration. The player's goal is to unfold and discover the mysteries and secrets hidden in the beautiful landscapes around you. There are no tutorials, there are no instructions. You discover the surreal dreamlike world and its possibilities all on your own. During the journey, you will encounter different types of wild animals. Some of them are friendly and help you to solve puzzles that open up new areas, other animals less so and you'll need to avoid them or figure a way to render them harmless. Every object in future unfolding is made up of dynamic particles that can transform, move or blend into something else, even the ground. You can push through the trees in the forest, you can dash through the grass to destroy it and move every stone in the game. All animations are hand-drawn frame by frame and use proprietary technology to create dynamic 3D shadows. If you're a fan of exploration and discovery, keep an eye out for this when it lands on the PC on the 15th of March. Console launches are expected later in the year. Right, we're approaching the site of the new outer space holiday camp to make repairs, so I'll guide the spaceship down to the surface and you just kill, kill, kill. Right, um, but we're definitely gonna kill. In this month's number four spot, we have Loot Rascals. While the game's been out for a while in alpha format, March the 7th sees its full rollout in what's being called the Refinery Edition. Essentially the game boils down to the player moving round a procedurally generated world and attacking monsters to gain the cards that they drop. Players then use these cards to customise the skill set of their character. Likewise, when you die, you too can be robbed of your cards by the nasties that you come across. There's also a multiplayer element to the game, where you can find cards dropped by other real players. You have the option to harvest them and use them for yourself, or perform a good deed and send them back to their original owners. Interestingly, players will be able to visit other people's games, so it's possible the card you took from another player will see them arrive into your game to seek revenge. There can be little in the way of argument that Loot Rascals looks rather wonderful, and its cutesy animation and colour palette nicely sets the tone for the gameplay. Loot Rascals, out early March on the PC and PlayStation 4. Kona was something I picked up on a while ago with its early access offering, and now has a full release date set for March 17th. 
you play a renowned private detective hired to investigate some acts of vandalism against a wealthy industrialist. While that's said, things become somewhat more complicated relatively quickly. When you boil Kona down, you have a mystery survival game with plenty of atmospherics and adventure. Don't be fooled though, Kona isn't another walking simulator, although I do have a strong affinity with this genre. What's worked thus far for me in the early access playthroughs, aside from how it looks and warrants Kona's position here at this month's number three, is the strength of its narrative and storytelling, launching on the PC, Xbox and PlayStation 4. Run the Death Squared simulation for me, please. Yes, David. And taking the runner-up spot this month, we have something a little bit different. Out on March 14th, Death Squared takes one to four players into a challenging puzzle scenario, which requires people to work together to overcome the spiky, explosive and trapdoor-ridden levels that get harder as the game progresses. The game does have a single player option, although I think naturally the local co-op and multiplayer parts of the game will be key to its enjoyment and lasting appeal. Claiming this month's number one place, something slithery this way comes. Snake Pass from the team at Sumo Digital is a physics-based action puzzler that sees the player take control of Noodle, the snake who's able to slither, curl and climb its way across 15 levels and 4 worlds, each with their own unique features and hazards. The roots and inspiration of Snake Pass need little introduction. It looks like a brightly coloured platformer from the N64 era, and for me and perhaps a few others who sank more hours than was good for us into the likes of Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie, Snake Pass seems a no-brainer purchase for long-standing fans of the genre and newcomers alike coming to Xbox and all the consoles March 28th. With Snake Pass rounding things off for indie launches this March, we're almost at the end of today's video. Which ones are you most looking forward to getting hold of? Likewise, with all the games coming out across the indie market in any given month, do you think there's anything I've missed from this selection that should have made an appearance? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and perhaps while you're here, why not hit the thumbs up button too. So once again, thanks for popping by today, I really appreciate the support and I'll be back later this month with a few more videos. Until then, all the best.